everyone I'm here again doing actually another video this is not an unboxing I'd already unboxed this one however I wanted to share this because this is something that I actually used on Halloween night um, and not too many know this but I am a practicing pagan um, practicing witch actually uh, so Halloween was the new year and I needed a new altar kit unfortunately for most of us out there, uh, most witches out there, pagans, and even those who go to church, you'll know that you can't actually bring a very large altar anywhere with you. So instead what I did was order a traveling altar kit from a company called MidnightBlue.com. I will spell that as M-Y-D-N-Y-T. B L U dot com and they specialize in altars and spells and all sorts of things and you know that sort of thing. So I decided to order it from them um, because I really liked this particular set. It was really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this set and what was in it. Um, and I will explain pretty much what I can. So if you just hang on for just a moment. Okay, so this is the set here. This is the entire thing. This is just the start of it. Now, a couple of these things could not actually fit in the box, although most of the things do. This here we use normally is white sage. This um, is actually in cone form. And it's used to purify space, things like that. You can purify the outside space, your inside space. Or if you just like the smell of it for some people, yeah, it works that way too. Um, so you can use that for that. Give me a moment. I'll show you what it looks like Now this is the cone itself and the little um, Coaster the incense burner that it sits on. I like this one because you can use uh, the incense burner either way As you can see I flipped the incense burner onto the other side so you can see that and you would just light this up uh, with you know a match or um, a lighter or anything else you could use to light and this you would use at the beginning of any ritual You could also use it in you know in the middle of the ritual as well to represent the air aspect of magic and nature However, the small one you would actually use more in ritual even though you could use it to clear your space This one would be more of the ritual uh, You know within the actual um, magical ritual itself as opposed to the beginning of it where you would clear the space before you would start your prayers now when i was looking for a traveling set one of the things that was really important was this was a chalice and the chalice um, would represent the water aspect of nature and also the feminine aspect of nature as it would well obviously represent um the nether regions um and I was actually happy to find one with an, a chalice like this because the other ones that I were looking at didn't really have them or they weren't all that great or they you just eh, they were okay you know this one is just right just perfect size um, for that and of course I've cleaned it out now but you can definitely would definitely be using this for water or any other liquid that you may use in your rituals as well now this thing is also very important. This is a cauldron. It's a mini cauldron. And I mean you could burn incense in this if you want, but this is more used for a lot of the other herbs that you would use during magical ritual, whether there would be herbs for, you know, love spells or or healing spells or money or anything else. You would mix up your different herbs and sometimes your different incenses as well and oils and you would burn them in here. Um and I like the fact that they had a cauldron as well, because a lot of them didn't have these either. And this one is actually, feels like it's cast iron. It's pretty heavy. Um, so it definitely works. And I like the smallness of it. So it definitely is good for a travel piece. Unfortunately, like I said, some of these things were a little bit too big to fit in this box. So this came in a little bag with it. I don't have the bag anymore, unfortunately. But now this is the box. I would have preferred a tree of life on mine. Unfortunately, they did not have that. However, the pentacle with the redstone is also fine. And I'm going to open this up now and I'm going to show you what's in it. So this is what's in it. As you can see, I'm going to hold this up for everybody so they can see that. How that's spelled. Midnight blue. I don't know why that's doing that. Why it's fading like that. But that's what it is. It's going to be midnightblue.com. 
And this is also something you can set incense on or your chalice on or even what you may be offering to your god on, whether it could be a piece of candy or, you know, or some food or maybe a trinket or in some cases for some gods even a vial of blood. It really depends on which one you're working with or which one you're praying to at the time. Um, so this um, actually is very cute and it works very well. And I do love the colors of silver and black with this. Really nice. This, of course, is your bell. And this you would use probably, you know, after, um, right after prayers or when you're actually calling down the god or the goddess itself, you would be using your bell for that sort of thing. Um, or, you know, in, in some aspects to represent also, you know, the air aspect as well. Now this guy is the bigger sage. This one is the one that you would actually use for clearing the space completely. This one you would light up definitely beforehand. Um, and with most people who follow the occult, sage is definitely a big one for clearing space. So I do like the fact that I was given my own little smudge stick and that comes with it. And this was actually easy to uh, light and also easy to put out as well. Now this one as well is just a pentacle. Okay, now the pentacle and this is actually here to represent the earth aspect of magic and nature. So this one you would actually put out and, you know, you'd set this one to the north to where the, uh, the earth aspect would be lit, would be um, facing as well. I like this because this uh, is a little candle holder. It comes with this little box right here. Oh, it's a little bag, excuse me. And this one was really easy to use. I was actually able to put what candle I needed in there. It did not give me a problem. It actually stuck well. The candle stayed upright. And surprisingly or not, the candle and the incense actually stayed burned the entire time during ritual on Solwyn night. Or for others who don't know what that is, it is Halloween night. Uh, the reason why I was surprised about that is I was in Central Park at the time. I was right next to Sheep's Meadow. Anybody from New York City, if you've been to the park, you all know where that is. And this was at night. Now, normally Sheep's Meadow is crawling during the day. At nighttime, it was dead, though, so um, I was kind of risking it being out there. But at the same time, I needed to be out there during the witching hour, which is between 12 and 2 to do this. Um, and it was very windy that night and very cold, so I was actually surprised that those candles and that incense stayed lit so i was very lucky for that this is a quartz stone now different stones can be used for different aspects during definitely um you know for different rituals and different things like that um a lot of stones can be used for different cleansings um you know, balancing your chakra, all sorts of different things. Now, the reason why I like this one in this set for a traveling set is because it's white, and white really is a neutral color when it comes to a lot of things. And white is also the color of, you know, purity and, and you know, all those things like that, but it's also a pretty neutral stone to be able to use kind of versatilely through many different types of rituals and spells. Now, this also is another incense holder. I like this one because not only can you put the, um, the cone incense in, but if you don't like the cone and you like a stick, you can also use that on here as well. And I love the colors on this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna really get in there so you guys can see this. Hang on. Here you are. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. I love the workmanship that went into this. And for a traveling set, this is really nice. This is honestly one of the better um, incense holders I've seen. And I love all these different colors on it. Just absolutely gorgeous. And this, of course, is this, <laughs> the one I actually burned that night. I'll show you how that would look like, like this, if you can see. Just like that. Again, stones important tiger's eye is actually a very powerful stone to use and it's definitely a really good stone to use during halloween uh because of its properties and because of the fact that it's uh one of the stones that is associated with um the easy uh, easing between you know the veil between the world so it's real it's um definitely a stone that you can use when you are summoning family members or you know things like that and i definitely had these on definitely out that night and was really great. So um, if anybody, of course, you know your stones, check this out. 
you know, if those who don't look up these stones, um, and they definitely have a lot of good qualities to them. And these three, I'm going to show you the inside of the box too. These three are the candles that I had. Now, I only used the black one that night because the other colors of the candles actually correspond with other things. So I actually could not use that. However, black is a big color to use. It is the color of protection. So it's definitely a color, a candle that you want on your altar at all times, along with white, because both one brings in, one brings in magic, one puts it out. And both of them are there kind of working in tandem for that. So that is it, everyone. And once again, I want to tell you it is midnightblue.com. Please check them out. Um, this is their card, as you can see. They actually do some really nice work, not just the box, but I'm thinking about getting some other altar with them as well. Thank you so much for watching my video again, and have a good one. Bye, everyone. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.